What's the thing you did as a kid that you're super lucky it didn't go badly or you didn't get in trouble for it? When I was a teenager, I lived in Germany, American military brat living off base. Some friends and I would always ride our bikes into the woods for hours on end. One day, we stopped along the trail and walked around when one of our friends started freaking out. He was standing next to a rusty grenade. We started walking around the area and found more stuff, like the remnants of a belt-fed ammo and what I assume was an actually artillery shell, intact. Like a bunch of morons, we gathered everything we found, wrapped it in a coat, and rode our bikes back home, dropping it several times on the way. When we got to my house and showed my dad, he told us to leave it there on the ground and come inside. He called the security police on base and they transferred him to out, explosive ordinance disposal. The cops showed up and told everybody to go inside, shut their doors and windows until it was clear. Then we had to ride with the security personnel to show them where we found all of the ordinance. Since it was on German property, it was kind of a big to do. They basically told us we were both dumb and lucky that shit didn't explode our faces even after 50 years or so. Then we were dumb enough to actually ask if we could keep what we found. My grandpa used to strip electrical cords, wrap the stripped ends around the top quarter of a metal spike, and then wrap the outside with electrical tape. The end product was a metal spike that you could stick into the ground and then plug into an outlet. Earthworms would get shocked, come to the surface, and my grandpa would collect them for fishing. If you were barefoot you could feel the current coming through your feet. Anyway, I was told not to touch the thing. And I sort of listened for a while. I would experiment getting closer and farther away from the deadly contraption with my bare feet to experience the tingling caused by the current. Then, one day, curiosity got the better of me and I grabbed the thing and could not let go. I remember my arm being paralyzed while I was being shocked. Somehow, I managed to let go of the thing and then I just kind of sat there stupefied for a minute. I was about 11 at the time and didn't really have a sense of mortality. My biggest concern was getting in trouble for touching it when I had been told not to. So I didn't tell anybody what happened. Super lucky I didn't die right then and super lucky I didn't have some kind of injury that needed medical attention. Especially since I wasn't about to tell anyone I needed medical attention. Kids. And crazy grandpas. When I was 12, my dad, quite foolishly, let me buy not one but two cavalry sabers at the gift shop at Gettysburg. They were like $15 each, super cheap and shitty, but real metal and fairly sharp. One time a friend and I actually tried sword fighting with them, swinging them at each other and blocking and stuff. It's a miracle neither of us were seriously wounded, we had no idea what we were doing. I was 12 when I was so frustrated with my mom and how she treated me and my brother that I made a plan to run away. We lived in the country so I was left to bike to the nearest town 7 miles away. I wrote everything down, I put my bike on the side of the house, and I planned to push out the screen of my basement window, I packed everything in a backpack including some money. It was summer and I woke up at 6 am and my mom was in the shower. I snuck out the basement window, got on my bike and rode away without being noticed. Most of the ride to the town was hard but uneventful, except for the last part, there was a steep road that crossed the highway and my bike brakes went out halfway down the hill. I managed to speed down the hill and cross the highway with no traffic, holy fuck that could have been bad. I gathered my breath and pedaled to the small gas station slash body shop and asked if they could help with my bike brakes, which the attendant there gladly tightened them up. I went down to a creek near the town and washed my face and brushed my teeth, then went to the tiny general store, got some breakfast and sat outside to enjoy my freedom. By this time it was about 9 to 10 am. All of a sudden my neighbor pulls up in their car and said rather calmly, your parents are looking for you. At that point, my dad pulls up beside them but doesn't say much. I guess he was just glad to see me. So I got in his truck and we went home. My dad did warn me my mom was incredibly angry. 
When we arrived, my mom was outside on the step smoking, she was not a smoker, and basically yells at me, look what you did to me. I will always remember what she said, I don't remember what happened but I went to be by myself in my room. After sleeping through the commotion upstairs for a few hours, my mom came down to grill me. She thought I left on a plane to see my friend who moved to Arizona, we lived in the Midwest. I fed her some bullshit and said I missed her and that's why I left. So, they bought me a plane ticket to Arizona that left that night, and I spent 10 days at my friend's house, after that my friend and I never really talked again, I don't think she really liked me anyway. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos and would like to see more, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified every time I upload. I am the Reddit Onion, and I'll see you next time.